हेलो गाइस वी आर स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ एल डिवीजन फर्स्ट ग्रुप माय सेल्फ पार्थ माजन एंड माय रोल नंबर इज वन टुडे आर टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वन न्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर दिस इज आर ओवर ऑफ टुडेज डिस्कशन सो फर्स्ट वी विल सी द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ वन न्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर वन न्यूमन आर्किटेक्चर वॉज पब्लिश बाई जॉन वन न्यूमन इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी फाइव कंप्यूटर आर्किटेक्चर डिजाइन कंसिस्ट ऑफ कंट्रोल यूनिट एरेथमेटिक एंड लॉजिक यूनिट दैट इज ए एल यू मेमोरी यूनिट रजिस्टर्स एंड इनपुट आउटपुट्स वन न्यूमर आर्किटेक्चर इज बेस्ड ऑन अ स्टोर प्रोग्राम कंप्यूटर कंसेप्ट वेर इंस्ट्रक्शन डेटा एंड प्रोग्राम डेटा स्टोर इन सेम मेमर दिस डिजाइन इज स्टिल यूज इन मोस्ट कंप्यूटर प्रोड्यूस टूडे दिस वॉज अ कंप्यूटर मॉडल कंसेप्ट एंड नॉट अ डिजाइन फॉर अ स्पेसिफिक मशीन नेक्स्ट वी विल सी वॉट इज वन न्यूमर आर्किटेक्चर बेसिकली हिस्टोरिकली देर है टू टाइप्स ऑफ कंप्यूटर्स दोज डैट हैव अ वेरी डिफाइंड फंक्शन एंड कैनॉट बी प्रोग्राम सच एज कैलकुलेटर्स एंड दोज डैट कैन बी प्रोग्राम The contemporary built computer is built on John von Neumann's concept of store programs. Programs and data are kept in distinct storage unit called memories in the store program approach, and they handle the same. A computer developed with this design would be considered easier to reprogram. Next, we will see the basic representation of von Neumann architecture. So this is the uh, deep, uh, this is uh, representation. This is an input device. There is input device, output device, and a CPU. In CPU, there is control unit, arithmetic logical unit, and registers. ALU, that is arithmetic logic unit, is used for mathematical operation. So, thank you. This is the basic introduction to von Neumann architecture. Next, we will see the history and background of von Neumann architecture. Hello, my name is Pushkar Mahajan. Rule number two, and I will be explaining the history of von Neumann architecture. So, before 1945, most computers were built for a specific type of computation. If the purpose of the computer was changed, people would have to manually re- rewrite tens of thousands of wires. This was an extremely errorful process. So, Neumann set out to change how computers were built by showing that computers could be general purpose. This means that a computer could build once and compute the answer to any type of problem. John von Neumann's idea was simple: put both instructions and data into the same memory unit and treat instructions as any other piece of data. Although this idea sounds simple, certain computer instructions had to be invented for von Neumann's idea to work in practice. Today, these types of instructions are taken for granted as they are used in almost all programs. Von Neumann, although influential, was not the first one to design a general-purpose computer architecture. Hello everyone, my name is Sushankar Mahajan. I am going to explain you components of von Neumann architecture. First is CPU, the basic physical organization of a modern computer based on the von Neumann architecture model. Co- comprises five units, namely memory control, arithmetic and logic, input and output. The central processing unit. comprises control and arithmetic and logic unit the second is memory the own neumann architecture consists of a single shared mem- memory for programs and data a single bus for memory access and arithmetic unit and a program control unit the third one is components of uh, non neumann architecture is input the classical on neumann architecture consists of mains memory a central processing unit or processor or core and an interconnection between the memory and the cpu the last one components of uh, on neumann architecture is output the on neumann architecture consists of a single shared memory for program and data a single bus for memory access and arithmetic unit and a program control unit hello everyone my name is farali mahajan role number 4 and today we will be discussing the characteristics of von neumann architecture classic von neumann architecture consists of a main memory a cpu or processor or core and an interconnection between memory and cpu main memory consists of a collection of location each of which is capable of storing instructions and data every location has an address and location's content This address is used to access locations and content of the location is the instruction or data stored in the location. Buses are the means by which this information is shared between registers in a multi-register configuration system. A bus structure consists of a set of common lines, one for each bit of a register, 
through which binary number is transferred at one at a time von neumann architecture comprised of three major bus systems for the data transfer address bus address bus carries address of the data between processor and memory and not the actual data data bus data bus carries data between processor mem- memory unit and input output devices control bus control bus carries signals or commands from the central processing unit my name is vishal krishna mahajan and my role number is 5 so i will be discussing about the advantages and limitations of von neumann architecture first advantages so the first advantage is it requires less physical space second handling just one memory block becomes easier and simpler to achieve third it is cheaper to implement fourth easy memory organization for the user and the limitations are first shared memory a defective program can overwrite another program in memory causing it to crash second memory leaks some defective programs fail to release memory when they are finished with it leading into computer crash due to insufficient memory third fetch rate data and instruction share the same data bus which requires more time for fetching fourth data bus speed is slow hello my name is harsh santosh mahale and my role number is 6 i will be concluding the video presentation in the start we saw that what is von neumann architecture and significance in computer science we discussed the history of von neumann architecture including its origin and development we also got to know about the key figures involved in its creation such as john von neumann and j presper eckert then we saw the components of von neumann architecture including the central processing unit which is cpu memory and its input output devices and their coordination towards its proper functioning characteristics of von neumann architecture we discussed the key characteristics of von neumann architecture including its use of a common bus for data and instruction and the concept of stored program and how these characteristics are influenced the design of modern computers then we discussed all about the advantages of von neumann architecture such as flexibility and ease of programming and then we also discussed about the limitations involved with the von neumann architecture such as its von neumann bottle telling about the continued significance of von neumann architecture in modern computer design modern computers are based on a concept of stored program in- introduced by john von neumann in 1945 in this stored program concept programs and data are stored in a separate storage unit called as memory and they are treated the same the novel idea meant that a computer built with this architecture would be much easier to reprogram and will be faster than the conventional thank you